The animals in Noah ark went in two by two. The animals in Noah's ark went in two by two. Name them elephant. Name them cat. Name them dog. Name them cow. Name them sheep. The animals in Noah's ark went in two by two. Hello, my learner. My name is Teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our today's lesson for grade 4, Science and Technology on Living Things, we look at animals and their characteristics. And on our previous lesson, we said animals are living things. Animals, we categorize them as living things. And in pairs, I would like you name some of animals. Now, not the ones I've sung about them, but the animals found in your locality when you go home. Visit your grandmother and your grandfather. What type of animals or examples of animals you find there? And we'll start. Victor, can you give us an example of an animal found in our grandmother's farm? Cow, example, correct? Examples of animals found in our grandmother's farm. Examples, we have said we have cow. John, can you give us another example? Sheep, correct, we have sheep. And what about you, Jane? Jane has said we have goat. Goat is another example of animal found in our grandmother's farm. And also, we have another one. I teach, I will mention one. We have cat and dog. These are some of animals that we find in our homes. And now, why do you think these animals are living things? What makes them living things? That is our, our question for today. What makes these animals living things? Uh -huh. What makes these animals living things? So in our groups, can we Say, or can we tell why animals, discuss amongst yourself, why these animals are living things? Number one, and I'll start by asking question, what have you discussed? From Victor, Victor said, animals are living things because they feed, correct one, animals feed. Animals feed, they will have to eat, a cow will eat. A donkey will eat. A sheep will have to feed so that it can grow. Correct one. What about you, Wangari? Wangari has given us another answer that animals grow. Correct one. Animals, they have to grow. Two animals grow. This is another characteristic of animals. Animals, they will grow from young one to big one. From young one to big one. Correct one. Who else has another answer? Esther can give us another answer. Animals, they will die. Correct one. Animals will die. Animals die. After they grow old or they are sick and they have not been attended to, they will die. Another example of what you have discussed in your groups. Who else has an answer? Yes, Tom. Tom has said animals reproduce. Correct one. Animals, because they are living things, they will love to reproduce. Reproduce. Animals reproduce. They give birth to young. For example, we have hen found in our grandmother's homestead. Her hen will lay egg and that egg will hatch after some time to a small or to a young one. That is called a chick. Correct one. Then we say animals do what again? Onyango. Onyango has given us another example or another reason why animals are living things. Because they produce waste. They remove or re give waste. They produce waste. Produce or in simple words, we say they remove waste. They will remove waste after they are full, they have eaten. And after some times the food has been digested in their bodies, 
the unwanted food will have to get away and that we say they will remove waste and there is another feature and it is let us close our eyes hold our chest like this breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out animals breathe they have to get in oxygen and get out carbon dioxide so we say animals breathe they breathe animals breathe and the last one when an animal has been pricked or yourself you have been pricked you respond to the sensitivity on your skin and we say you respond to the changes in the environment the last one is number seven they respond to changes in the environment to changes in the environment they respond to changes in the environment these are the answers you've given me that animals feed a stone will not feed but animal will have to feed an animal will grow from small to a big one an animal will die when it is uh, it is sick and has not been taken care of or it has grown old it will die they reproduce they give birth to young ones and then they produce or they remove waste they remove waste products from their body the unwanted food after digestion it has to get out of their body and then they breathe for them to survive they need oxygen in carbon dioxide out and the last one they respond to the changes in the environment an activity for us to do an activity for us to do tomorrow remember is our weekend so when you go home ask your parent to take you to the local farm or to your grandmother's farm if it's near it's near and make sure you take photos of animal feeding make sure you take photos of animal feeding take make sure you take a photo of animals removing waste and a photo of animals who have responded to the change in the environment and an example I'll give you it's when it has when the sun is very hot the animal will go to the shade so that it can shelter itself from the scorching sun that is an example and then you bring those photos print them bring them so that you can put them in our portfolio any question my learners and if there is no question remember characteristics of animals that they grow they feed they die they reproduce they remove waste they breathe and they respond to the environment bye bye